delighted to announce that the winner of the Academy Award for Commitment is Anne Kelly. My job here for a couple of minutes before I hand you over to Sir Philip Green is to award the Marks and Spencer Award. So without any further ado, I would like to ask Kelly Bone to come up and receive her award. British High Street is absolutely the strongest high street in the entire world. And you guys are very much the future of that. So congratulations all of you. I've been the chief executive of Topshop, Debenhams, BHS, Alders and Tesco. Well, part of Tesco is a big company. Um, and so I've got a lot of experience in retail and I want to sort of impart some pearls of wisdom to you this morning in the short space of one hour. I'll talk to you a bit about Jaeger because that's what I'm uh, very passionate about and, uh, and the journey that we're on at Jaeger. And, um, and hopefully there'll be some opportunities for some of you to come and spend some time with us um, in Jaeger, in head office um, and within the stores in terms of learning and understanding about our business. All I ever wanted to do was the best job I could do and be the best at what I was doing. So it mattered a lot to me that when I was an assistant merchandiser, that I was the best assistant merchandiser there was. And when I was a merchandiser, the same. And when I was a controller, the same. And when I was a director, God help me, I had to be the best. So it was always that way around. And every time I got to a level, I remember looking up and thinking, I can do that job. I chose to come to the FRA because I want to pursue a job in buying. Um, it's a very specialised college and it has um, lessons in buying merchandising, visual merchandising, PR and um, management skills and also has a lesson called PPP which like prepares you for actual like interviews, helps you do your CV, just general stuff and it's it's so specialised, it's the perfect place to come. Welcome to our interview lesson. Yeah I've got someone to interview now but I've got no room. Look at this, I've got paper clips on the desk. I mean like, it's like I'm in a coffee bar or something. Jessica. So you've applied for the VM assistance? which is very interesting considering that you've um, just worked in a bar in McDonald's. Obviously doing fashion retail, so it obviously gives you sort of an inside knowledge and it gives you all the experience that you need to know because there's quite a lot that happens like behind the scenes that you don't sort of realise when you're a shopper. I've been like sort of shadowing my manager and I've been going around with him a lot and it's been really cool. The level of um, the production of those final projects is so professional that we were completely taken aback. It's the fourth year that I've seen uh, some of the students work now and um, you can see the progression each year and I think this year looks exceptional. The Fashion Retail Academy is empowering, fun and exciting. always working on different projects, not just for Tony, but also for our other tutors. We're working on graphics and things like that. If you need to come up with an idea of a window and design it on the computer as well as visually. By the time I left school, somewhere like this didn't exist. show was a great experience for all the fashion students. Um, it's so much fun because we organised it, we did the clothes and we modelled it as well. Um, I thought the show was a really good experience. I think um, it was very exciting. I think it was something that we I didn't expect when I came to the college and I think doing it as an assignment as well is it's really key for the students, I mean, because we get to know styling, we get to do PR, it covers everything and we all get a chance 
to have a go at everything, which is really good. And I mean, the end result was amazing. The fashion retailing has given me everything I needed to do to get into the job I'm in today.